Hi, I'm Matt from Haltech, and today on Technically Speaking, we're going to be looking at Haltech's new range of CAN expansion devices. So we're going to start with the I.O. expander, then we're going to look at EGT box, and then we're going to put it all together using Haltech's new CAN hub. So first thing we want to do is we want to open the boxes and see what we actually get. Looking first at the I.O. box, we open the package up and we see we get the I.O. box itself, the CAN connection cable to connect it to the ECU, uh, an important Haltech sticker, and also a brief instruction guide. Now what the I.O. box is good for is expanding the number of inputs and outputs that you have with your ECU. You see this box here gives you an additional four analog voltage inputs. Now they can be used for things like temperature sensors, pressure sensors. So you can measure trans temp or trans pressure or oil pressure, fuel pressure, and that sort of thing. You have four digital pulsed outputs. Now those things are good for switching on things like solenoids. Um, you can switch on a boost control solenoid or a thermofan or an additional fuel pump, something like that. Now one thing to note is the output from the actual I.O. box here is not able to drive a fan directly. You'd need to use a relay or some device like that that can actually handle the additional current. But for things like solenoid valves, boost controllers, nitrous controllers, those sorts of things, the box can drive them directly. For more information, just check out the instruction manual. Now the other thing that you get here is four additional digital pulsed inputs. Now they're great for things like road speed inputs or additional cam inputs and that sort of thing. We have a pulsing signal. Okay, so the box here gives you 12 more inputs and outputs. To connect it up to the ECU, simply take the CAN cord, plug it into the back of the box there, and plug the other end into your ECU. Moving on now to thermocouple amplifier. We open the box and we see we get the actual TCA box itself. Now this one is a two channel box. It also comes in four channels and they can be connected together so you get up to four, six, eight, or even 12 channels. CAN connection connect the box to the ECU, a couple of actual sensors themselves, and of course, instruction manual, and again, the all important Haltech sticker. And one thing to note is the fact that the ECU only has one CAN connector on the back, and each of these devices only have one CAN connector on the back. So to join all these together, we actually have this device called the CAN hub. The CAN hub comes with a bunch of different CAN cords. This allows you to connect multiple devices together. It also comes with an instruction manual and again, an important sticker. To assist in the demonstration of how to connect all these CAN devices together, I've put together this little CAN network board. So on it we have Sport 1000 ECU, a Raceback Haltech IQ3 dash, we've got a CAN hub, TC2 thermocouple amplifier, an IO12 input output expander, and also we have a boost control solenoid, shift light, air temperature sensor, and an oil pressure sensor. So let's get to actually connecting it all together. Now one thing you will notice is with all your CAN cables you now have, you have two different colors, white and black. Basically, the cables that have two black ends, they're, they're gonna need to go between the ECU and the first position in the CAN hub. The white cables, they're going to go between the CAN hub and your devices. So in this case, we'll just hook up TCA amplifier. Now we're going to hook up our I.O. box here, just like that. Okay, and then finally, in this case, we also have a race pack dash. So we're going to hook that up as well. But you will notice on the race pack dash, it's got a black connector. Basically, the first and the last devices that you connect to your CAN hub must be connected using black cables. The white cables, they go in between. Okay, so now we're hooked up. Black cables at either end, ECU at one end, dash at the other with our black cables, white ones in between, we're ready to start going. Now, if this is a little bit confusing, there is a diagram that is in the manual, and that really makes it quite, quite easy to explain. All right, so let's turn this on and see what happens. Our dash is powered up. Our ECU is now communicating with our TCA box and our IO box. So now let's go into the software and actually set them up correctly. Going online with the Howtech software, we notice now in the bottom left-hand corner, 
we have two new devices found, a TCA box and an I.O. box. What we want to do is click on Options, Enable Device. Do the same with the I.O. box, Options, Enable Device. Now we reset the ECU. And both boxes are now online. Now that both the boxes are online and communicating correctly, all we need to do is set up what they do. So we do this just by clicking on the options menu and then setting the inputs or the outputs or for the thermocouple amplifier, whether it's an EGT or whether it's just a generic thermocouple, maybe for a trans tamp or something like that. And there you have it. Our EGT box, our IO box, CAN hub, our dash and our ECU are all communicating together. That's all we have time for on this month's edition of Technically Speaking. I'm Matt from Haltech and I'll see you next time.